Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gold Prospecting at Home. This is episode number 107, and today I have some gold pay dirt from a fan. Um, Sean, thanks so much for sending this in to me. This is the Panmore Gold 10 pound bag of pay dirt, uh, which you can see right there. It even says, wow, $160 value. So hopefully uh, we get $160 worth of gold out of this product, right? If if it's discounted to 127, we should be getting $160 value, right? I highly doubt it. Um, just like all these products, they're not made to make money. They're made for um, just you know just for entertainment purposes to practice how to pan for gold at home. That's why people order these products. If you're from Florida or Louisiana or like Delaware or any of these states where there's no natural gold. You could actually buy gold pay dirt and have it shipped right to your house. You don't have to travel. Even if you're disabled, um, you should be able to get some pay dirt and try it for yourself at home. All right, so I'm editing this video and I realized I forgot to mention this company does not guarantee a minimum amount of gold. If you're out looking for a gold pay dirt to buy and they don't guarantee a minimum amount of gold, you're probably going to get ripped off. Just wanted to throw that in here. All right, back to the video. So anyway, this stuff did cost Sean $127.95. It's $14.90 shipping, bringing the grand total to $141.90. But wow, there's a $160 value, so you never know. Sean bought this back in June of 2020, so we'll be using spot prices from that time to determine the value of this gold after we pan the stuff out. So enough messing around, it's 10 pounds of pay dirt. We're gonna go ahead and classify this stuff down. We will remove the magnetic material and we'll run it through the sluice box and see what kind of gold we get. All right, here it is. The 10 pound reserve blend gold pay dirt from Pan More Gold. Let's take a look at it in a pan. Nice. All right, so this is 10 pounds of pay dirt. So I have a bigger pan. We'll go ahead and cut it open and pour it out just to take a closer look. a lot of pay dirt. So honestly, it kind of looks like, it doesn't look like river gravels because there's no round rocks in it. It's kind of rougher material and there's a lot of dust in it, which also tells me that it's probably not from a river. It's probably just, I'm not really sure where they got this from, but it's, it's definitely not plaster concentrates. I can see a few pieces of mica in there which is common in Colorado, which is where this pay dirt originates from. I don't know, let's classify it down. We can get a better idea of what this stuff is. All right, here I have a eighth inch classifier. A lot of dust, like I said, but we got rid of at least probably four fifths of all that pay dirt in the minus here. All right, next we're gonna do kitchen strainer, which is about half the size of the eighth inch, so 16th inch. And we'll do one last classification here. This is probably 132nd inch. So someone asked, what's the purpose of classifying? And uh, so the easy answer is imagine having um, all of your different sizes together and you have some really fine gold in there, you have bigger gold. Well, when you're actually in doing the panning, when you're panning this stuff back with water in the pan, these larger rocks can knock the smaller pieces down during the panning process. That makes it easier to actually lose gold. So that's why we classify it into separate sizes. Another reason is fluid dynamics. Imagine having bigger and smaller rocks in there. When you move the water over the bigger rocks, say there's a smaller rock on the other side of it, it's not gonna wash it back as easily. So it just helps um, the whole panning process. Just makes things a lot easier. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and run my magnet over this. Uh, this is just a really strong neodymium magnet. That'll help us remove most of the magnetic material. And it seems like there's a good amount in there. Not a ton compared to some other pay dirts, but I mean, it's a good amount. All 
All right, here we have our classified sizes from largest to smallest, plus our magnetic material. Not very much magnetics. So the original plan was to run this through the sluice box. However, my build pump is, something's wrong with my build pump, so I'm gonna have to do this by hand, which is not a big deal. That's the way I've always done it before. So let's go ahead and start off with the big stuff first, and we'll work our way to the smallest, because I think most of the gold's gonna be over here. All right, so let's bring over Krusty Rusty. Actually, we can't use Krusty Rusty because we have 10 pounds of material and there's no way that's gonna work. So let's bring over Otto from AutoZone. We'll add some water and some Jet Dry. That's just a surfactant that'll break the surface tension. All right, so I'm gonna start out with the magnetic material. There's not a lot there. And even though there's most likely not gold in there, you never know, so I'm, I always like to pan this stuff down. I think I see some gold in there. Nope. Nah, there's no gold in there. All right, let's knock out the big material here. This material is super light. It's just washing right off the top, no problem. Let's see if there's any gold in there, and no big nuggets. I wasn't really expecting it, but I mean, for $141, you would think maybe a nugget, but okay, next we have the plus kitchen strainer size. I need a little more water in there. There we go. You want to have it completely submerged when you're stratifying. All right, that's a lot better now. But it looks like we got some gold in this one. Some nice little pieces in there. Yeah, about six or seven pieces. That's a picker for sure right there. Awesome, so I'm gonna grab that with my snuffer bottle. If you guys are new to gold panning and you're interested in learning how to actually pan for gold, I'll put a link right here and in the description so you can click that link to uh, watch the tutorial video on how I do this stuff. All right, next up we have the plus 32nd inch. Another thing I noticed, there's a lot of uh, grass and branches and stuff floating around in here. All that organic material kind of tells me, gives me an idea where this material came from. Like, would you find grass and stuff at the bottom of a river under some rocks? No, you wouldn't. Again, this classification went really, really quick and there is a little bit of gold in there. Now finally we have the minus 32nd inch stuff. I don't know how difficult it's gonna be to pan, so I'm just gonna do like maybe three of these. That should be enough. We'll do that much at a time, just until we gauge how tough it really is. But yeah, we got a couple little pieces of flower gold in that first three scoops. Not a lot, man. Hopefully we do a little bit better than what I just found here. All right, that was pretty easy, so we can we can fill this up a little bit more this time. Do about half of it there. All right, let's see what we got in this pan. See a lot of pyrite in there. It's not gold that's coming down, that's fool's gold. There's some real gold at the top. Those yellow, obvious gold pieces right there. There's a couple more flakes, maybe 10 more flakes. Some random pieces of flower gold as well. All right, the very last pan. Let's see what we got here. Right there in the top corner, there's just a few. Yeah, there's a couple more flakes there. All right, let's snuff her out here and see what we got.
I'll be honest with you right there, that looks like about maybe a half gram of gold. Half gram. That might be a quarter gram picker. We'll have to weigh it up and see, but first, uh, we gotta dry it out. All right, so this this is not good at all. All right, so we got 0.455, that's less than half a gram of gold. And we're gonna call it 24 karat pure because you can resell natural plaster gold just like this to pay dirt vendors like myself. I do have a pay dirt company called kleshgold.com where you can buy like pay dirt in five different levels of difficulty plus small bags under 20 bucks, $15 for those and gold panning kits and native silver and all kinds of stuff. Spot value was $1,729 on the day of purchase. And we got $25.29 worth of gold. Sean spent $141.90. Um, you know, I did do a review of this company in the past. It was one of my very first reviews of any pay dirt. I think it was like number three or two or four or something like that way back. You know, I'll link that video here. It's really cringy and bad, but that's, you know, how my channel started out. Still is pretty cringy and bad, but I still do it anyway because I enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this video, um, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I put out at least one new video every week. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left. So thanks so much. And also, big thanks to all my Major Credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to like the other ones linked here. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.